Hi, I'm Mandy Dunbar, a camp accreditor with the United Church of Canada. We're here at Camp Big Canoe, and although camp is not yet in session, it's a perfect time to talk about camp safety. Camp is a special place where lasting friendships are forged, new skills acquired, and memories are made. But as in any activity, there are risks involved. The objective of this camp safety series is to raise awareness of these risks and to assist in managing them. Whether you're a board member, staff, volunteer, or the organizer of a group planning an outing, we hope you'll find this series helpful. Camping is a time-honored tradition. Children have been attending camp for years, and during that time, dedicated staff and volunteers have ensured a safe environment exists. In this video, we want to share how this can be achieved. A property in good repair and free of hazards is essential. Safety inspections before, during, and at the end of the camp season are necessary. Document any hazards or areas in need of repair, such as broken windows, loose stair railings, or broken chairs, anything which may be a potential hazard. During the safety inspection, ensure that high-risk areas, such as maintenance, pool filtration, and chemical storage sheds are secure and campers don't have access. If you're renting for a weekend or midweek retreat, be sure to do your own safety inspection. Another precaution is the installation of smoke detectors. Ideally, they should be located out of the reach of campers, but in such a way they can be checked periodically. If you're a group renting facilities, be sure to check them yourself. Many camps using tents also use mosquito coils. The placement of the coils is important for them to be effective, generally near the front of the tent. For safety, the coil should be removed from the tent prior to campers entering. Campfires are a great way to end an exciting day at camp. Proper maintenance and preparation will ensure the fun continues. The following are necessary steps to ensure a safe campfire. One, have a bucket of water ready to extinguish the fire. Be sure to have a fire extinguisher readily accessible and periodically dig out your fire pit. Supervision of campers is important at all times. Even at night, staff need to be present. Each camp or group will determine how best so, to achieve this. Group one, group two, Camps and group groups three, implement group screening four, processes for staff and volunteers to ensure the safety of campers. But what about people who may come to the camp who aren't staff or volunteers? Visitors, delivery people, or maintenance people? A check-in and check-out system for visitors is the most common solution. And a staff member may stay with a visitor until it's time to depart. Signs notifying visitors of this requirement are often located as you enter the camp. Upon arriving at camp, campers need to check in and be assigned to their group. They may meet with camp health personnel to identify any health concerns not already addressed. When it comes time to go home, campers should leave only with a parent or guardian, but situations may arise when this isn't possible. In that case, it's important the camp have signed written permission designating this individual to pick up the child. For more information, please visit united-church.ca slash local slash duty.